So in this video, we're going to be talking about Scottie Pippen and the No Bull Tour in Australia once again. Now, a few videos ago, I was talking about this particular tour and Scottie Pippen in general, the uh, beef that him and Michael Jordan have had since the documentary that is The Last Dance. And well, my assumption, to be honest with you, was that this tour that he had in Australia where he's hosting with the uh, Australian uh, basketball league or association i thought this was going to be some maybe another bash session with scotty pippen talking down on michael jordan once again along with his other teammates but to be honest with you i have to admit i was wrong huh it was not that at all and i'm going to prove it with this video i want to show you today that i'm going to react to uh, Scottie Pippen's going on a press tour in Australia, and he actually has some very nice things to say about the team and about his uh, teammate and leader, Michael Jordan. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to react to this video. Without further ado, welcome to Normieville. I, I can't say anymore. I, I'm probably already in trouble for mentioning it to a, uh, well, we, we call you normies. Okay, so... Here you see this from uh, today. I will leave a link to this video in the description box if you want to watch it without my commentary and interruption. But hey, you can see the title right here. NBA legend Scottie Pippen catches up with today. Today's show, Australia. He went on a morning show and he's going to talk about his time with the team, how he developed himself as an individual player. And he's going to give praise actually to Michael Jordan as well. And I'm going to react to it. As always, because this is a YouTube video, I have to give my fair use clause for commentary and criticism or for transformation purposes. So without further ado, before we get into the video, fair use. Oh, wow, I'm an exclusive. Oh my goodness. He's here in the flesh. You haven't aged the day. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> what is your secret? Not on the court anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Too much stress, right, on the court. Yeah. Uh, it's great to have you here. Um, you look, the, the, the list of achievements um, mm. are long um, yeah. and difficult to zero in on, on, on one particular in such a short time with you, but what is the standout for you? What, what was the moment where you go, oh, that was enough for me? Uh, meaning my retirement? I, <laughs> I think just um, knowing that you didn't have that same... I guess, nucleus around you to get you back to the championship. And I, I guess it, you, your body starts to tell you at some point that you, you can't put out the same uh, energy and effort that you once did. And when you lose that kind of uh, a bit of passion for the game, then it's time to step aside and let someone else step in. No, I gave you everything I had. You did. I gave you everything I had. I mean, but... You know... I got to say this, right? Like, Scotty Pippen has probably the deep, deepest voice I've ever heard in my entire life. But you can understand everything he's saying, even though he's like, well, you know, uh, yeah, my body and uh, the nucleus of the team and, you know, everything else like that. But you can understand everything he's saying. Now, remember, when Pippen retired, I don't believe he, he well, and about believe to it, he wasn't with the Chicago Bulls when he retired, all right? And so he didn't have that same nucleus, and he tried to get a championship with another team. It didn't work. Luckily, he already had six, so he didn't have to worry about that, right? He tried to get another one. He couldn't. It was unfortunate. It is what it is, right? Scotty, you made history, right? I mean, the two Olympic gold dream team, the six NBA championships, like there must have been a time for you when you kind of sat back and went, wow, have I actually achieved all of this? Yeah, I mean, I think it was more so after I retired that I had a, a real good moment to kind of collect my whole career, not just from a professional standpoint, but, you know, when I started as a kid, uh, basketball has been a, a journey for me mm. and to be able to uh, go through it and kind of live your, your dream out, uh, it was pretty special. Yeah, it's and, hard to believe it wasn't so easy for you in those early days. No, nah, it, it wasn't, but I think that's anything in life that if it's come easy for you, then it's not worth trying. And uh, as you know, basketball didn't come that easy for me. I worked very hard to uh, get a scholarship, and after that, I had to continue to work to improve, impress a lot of GMs about my style of play. Mm. Uh, Sorry, y'all. I know he kind of drags on, and he's got deep voice, which probably also makes it very uh, mundane. It makes it very uh, monotone. All right, so I apologize for that. But you see all those highlights, right? Like Pippen, 
had probably just as many great moments as Michael Jordan did. It's a shame that they, the drama even started in the first place. And again, people don't want to be called a sidekick even though they're a sidekick, right? But like I said before, two things can be true. He can be a great player and be a sidekick and as well three things and also still not has been as great as Jordan was. But damn close. On how I could be an impact on in the world's greatest game and I was yeah. able to do that. Do you know, um, I lived and breathed the Chicago oh, Bulls um, in real time, right? <laughs> and then um, the last dance brought it all back. Um, what was it like for you mm. to watch that incredible documentary series? I thought it was special. I thought it was a special moment for us to really relive uh, some of the greatest times uh, in basketball history and more so uh, have an opportunity to see what team basketball was like. And I think during the pandemic, everyone sitting home, <laughs> uh, it was more like an educational tool to let people see uh, how great the game can be if it's played the right way. And if they're sharing of the basketball, uh, there's uh, unlimited things that you can achieve uh, in a game of basketball. And we were able to win six titles um, mm. over a decade. And uh, that's a pretty high accomplishment. Mm -hmm. People hate comparison. Six championships. Yeah. Again, this documentary did come out during the pandemic, I believe, uh, late or early 2020, I believe. So, yeah, very entertaining. I watched all six uh, episodes or six, seven episodes of it. And, you know, there were some tear-jerker moments in there. There was some, some angry moments, and there were some moments in there you was like, cheering almost if the, the game was being played that day, right? It was a very epic documentary. I think it's one of the best in my opinion. But I think he's getting to the Jordan part, which we all came here for. And, and especially over different eras. Um, but from where you were standing and playing, was Michael the best or the greatest ever? Oh, uh, for sure. I mean, you look at the MVPs that he uh, was able to achieve. But I think it was all brought from us being successful as a team. Obviously, someone is going to bring those accolades home. But, uh, yeah, he was the greatest player, definitely in basketball. I started getting so upset when... All right, hold on. We got to we gotta run that back one more time. Hold on. Let me go back. Eight one seventeen. there. We got to go back and hear him say it one more game. Let's go. For sure. You look at the MVPs that he uh, was able to achieve, but I think it was all brought from us being successful as a team. Obviously, someone is going to bring those accolades home, but uh, yeah, he was the greatest player, definitely in basketball. I started getting so upset when they... I don't ever want to hear this man, ever in his mouth, come out and say that LeBron James was a better player than Michael Jordan. Bitch, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Because he said that like a year or so back when the whole like beef first started with this documentary, he was like, oh, well, LeBron James better than my... And I think he said that because out of anger, the, the, the documentary had just aired and people were questioning him about it. He was going, I think he was on ESPN that day talking to somebody and he blurred out his mouth. People was giving him hell for it, myself included. But like you said, he was the best. And again, whether you look at, you can look at statistics for everybody's out there, for everybody's out there, that's going to say Jordan was better, that uh, LeBron is better. Statistically, number wise, LeBron James has broken a lot of records. Okay, I will give him that. He's broken scoring records, all kind of different records in the NBA. So I will not take that away from your King Michael uh, LeBron James, right? The chosen one, which is written on his back, right? But some other people, maybe they're a little more old school. They look at rings and banners and trophies and if you look at that well the ranking might be a little bit different just put it that way they started kind of leaving you out during that doco series because mm -hmm. you always came across to me as a, just a hard-working dude um, immensely talented but but just so affable uh, and when the management started messing around it was like awful yeah, it, it was to some degree, but I think at that point they were sort of ready to move on from that group, nucleus of players. And I think as professionals, we've we've seen that happen year in and year out where, you know, owners uh, decide to go in a different direction. And as a player, uh, you, you're prepared for it. Mm. Guys get traded every day. So uh, 
it was kind of tough for us to have to leave that championship uh, nucleus, but uh, we, we had to pick up and move on. Well, among yeah, I got to say, man, uh, I think I forgot who got traded first, but after that last championship, as a lot of y'all saw in the documentary, the team got pretty much got broken up. Michael Jordan retired. I think Pippen did one more year in Chicago, and then he left, and it just, you know, everybody, Grant and everybody else, Curry, they, it all just kind of got busted up after that. And to be honest with you, the Bulls have never been the same since then, all right? While they've still been a respectable franchise, people like Pippen, Jordan, and others are the reason that franchise still has a name today, all right? If it wasn't for them, Chicago wouldn't be shit, just to be honest with you, Chicago Bulls, all right? So uh, we're going to wrap this, this uh, reaction up, and then we're going to get on out of here, all right? One of the champions you played with was, of course, Aussie Luke Longley, the big man. Yes, yeah, Luke was a great contributor for us uh, in our second three-peat. And, uh, you know, he's uh, still a very close friend of mine. And he's the one, really, who's uh, invited <laughs> me here, and that's why I'm in Australia. He's a no-nonsense sort of guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, We've had Shaquille um, uh, O'Neal out here as well. Um, and, you know, he's. I saw this great interview that you did with him where you were talking about um, people in the crowd that would distract you. Uh, yeah. Potentially, um, but I was distracted by um, the shark when he came to Australia. This one you have. Okay, we're done here. I just wanted to cover that Jordan part. All right, uh, Michael Jordan. He Pippen just said they would not have gotten there with Michael Jordan. They had great players, but somebody had to bring it home. Somebody had to put the team together. Somebody had to lead the troops, as I was saying, because I'm a military man. So y'all see it. Mike uh, Pippen gave respect while also big up in his play, his teammates and himself, right? Which I think is respectable. Again, I will leave a link to this video in the description box. You can watch at your leisure without uh, commentary. And if I see any other clips, which you think he's done a one or two more interviews, but y'all get the gist of this right here, right? And this has been the narrative the whole time he's been doing this tour, because I've seen other videos that he's done since he's been in Australia. So again, I was wrong. I give Scottie Pippen props. My bad, yo, all right? And for everybody else that, you know, might have thought people was hating, hey, this tour right here, he actually he actually was giving props, all right? He was, he was actually giving fair criticism and praise. So, hey, when he's right, he's right, okay? On that note, thank you for attending another episode of Normieville. You know me, I'm just Normie, here to bring you the latest and greatest in sports news, entertainment, and politics. Let me know what you think about this tour down in the comment section and if this is just a temporary praise and he's going to get back to the States and start dragging drone again. Let's see what happens, all right? Talk about it down in the comment section and please, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and that notification bell on your way out of the door. And I will see you on the next video.